the Singaporean Grand Prix. Uh, it's a race you know you have yet to win. Um, what is so difficult about the race that sets it apart from other races? We all know it's a street circuit. It's very warm, very humid. A lot. It's a very long race as well. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's always very demanding for us drivers to uh, to be here. But uh, I think you know, and you ask all the drivers, are always very excited to be here. Uh, how do you fancy your chances this year? And so far, you know, we've had a really competitive car. We know that the street circuit is probably not the best scenario for our car, but it's still going to be hopefully you know a good weekend where hopefully of course we can come away with a, with a win. With every win comes pressure. Uh, do, do you see it that way in terms of uh, reliving that, that race to be at the perfection every time? The pressure is fine. I mean, we are of course having a great season. You know, we are closing in on, on another championship, but I want to do well. I want to try and win the race here. Um, of course, we're on a great streak as well, but for me, I'm just focused on, on the race weekend and try to do the best I can. When you look back at all the races so far, what do you think are some of the reasons as to why you and the team have been doing so well? Proper teamwork, um, you know, the car has been really enjoyable to drive. Clearly, it's a bit faster than the other cars around us. And uh, from my side, I'm happy with, uh, with the performance so far, I think. We, um, we barely made any mistakes and hopefully we can keep it that way. Uh, and speaking about the record, it's an incredible record. Uh, it's something that you could extend here in, in Singapore, but when you look at the record itself, what do you think that says about your own performance? Yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, it's very difficult to achieve multiple, you know, races in a row and to, to win 10 in a row uh, has never been done before. So for sure, you know, I'm very, very proud of that. But um, like I said before, I'm just focused on, on every single weekend, you know, step by step. And I actually don't really think about, you know, the, the, the races we have won in a row already. Red Bull has been immortal this season so far. How much does the team think about you know, achieving a perfect season? There's eight races to go and if you guys do it, you'll be the first to do it. Yeah, we know it's going to be tough. I mean, the competition um, is very, very close and especially I think on a street circuit like this. But uh, from our side, yeah, of course, the closer we get to the end, of course, you know, the more it is possible. But um, I guess time will tell, you know, if it's possible or not. It is very different, you know, some people say it's not good, some people say it's good. Of course, you want to uh, to see maybe closer battles, but it's a fair sport, you know. Everyone has the same opportunities, the same possibilities. So we are just very happy with what we are achieving as a team. In self-assessment, where do you think you rank in terms of the greatest drivers to have done this sport? I'm not really focused on these kind of things. I'm just happy with the performance I, I'm having and doing at the moment and uh, was happy with the wins we are achieving as a team but for me I'm, I never really said to myself from a little kid onwards like I need to be a legend of the sport I need to be here in, in the ranking because rankings are they're very irrelevant at the end of the day in terms of um, the generations are very different the cars are very different so to compare like stats mm -hmm. I think is very difficult. When it comes to idols or perhaps sportsmen that you admire and when you were younger were there anyone that you looked up to that you looked to emulate? No one. No, I respected the, you know, everyone's achievement, but I never really looked up to anyone. I mean, I enjoyed watching other kind of sports and people achieving what they were achieving at the time, but no, uh, no, no idols. Okay, sure. That's all. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you.